to Elf Phillips, who is uh, the director of one of the films, which is going to be shown on Saturday night uh, for the New Jersey Film Festival, and he joins us now here on New Jersey Today. Hey, Tom, you're on New Jersey Today and WCTC Radio. How you doing? Good. How are you doing today? Thanks for having me on. My pleasure. Thanks so much uh, for giving us a call. Now, your movie, which is going to be shown, uh, is it? Uh, it's, it's the uh, Saturday uh, feature? Yeah, the Saturday feature at 7 over at Boys Hall. Quite a conundrum. And when I saw this picture that accompanies the little text, I said, i got to see this movie. It looks like somebody who's got a couple of women who have got like some big, heavy thing going on in their lives. Am I pretty close to the movie, to the sort of the plot? Yeah, the, the movie's called Quite a Conundrum for a reason. It, it, it's kind of its own genre. I had a, um, somebody watch it the other day and said it was like watching a John Hughes movie from the 80s if mm. he was twisted and on crack. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I mean, it's... It, 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 it's a dark comedy. It's a really dark. It's a really dark comedy, but it's kind of its own genre in its own way. Any movie described as hilarious, dark, sexy, twisted, and sadistic, man, I am there. This sounds like a real fun ride uh, of a movie to be watching. Uh, talk about some of the folks, uh, some of your performers and actors that are in the movie. Um, well, which is great, Aaron Nicole Klein, Joe Coffey, and um, Julie Pachowski, and. Um, Chris Green are all actually going to be okay. in attendance with me for a Q and A following the film. Nice, and um, they just did some stellar performance. It's really an ensemble piece. There's about um, there's nine actors in it, but there's about five of them. It's really an ensemble piece with Emily Rogers and Catherine Trail. They all just give a, a great ensemble performance, and that's really what sells the movie for me is the casting of it. Man, and just kind of looking at a little bit of the plot line, this sounds like such a great story and just uh, an incredible, incredible ride. It looks like one of those movies that kind of keeps you hanging right till the very end, right? It does. It's one of those movies, you know, it's an 82-minute film, you know, an hour and 22 minutes. It never slows up from comedy to drama to murder to sex. You know, it, it, it's kind of got a little bit of everything in it. You never know what's going to come next, which is what the audience is saying. Hey, sounds like a weekend, you know? <laughs> sounds like a weekend yeah, for yeah. a lot of folks. <laughs> yeah. have, uh, have you shown this movie, Thomas, at some other film festivals around the country? Actually, no. This will be the first thing previewed. Any, it should be the first time it's been seen on the big screen. Wow. Audio. How about so, that? Um, Where better than the New Jersey Film Festival, huh? Exactly. Uh, my movie I interviewed with you last year, my last feature played, where I began played there last year to um, an audience. And, but it's really cool, um, especially with the, the actors that are coming have not even seen the movie. Really? Serious? Yeah? So, yeah. Wow. You know, they haven't seen the movie, so not only will they be watching it for the first time with an audience and in public, then they're going to have to get up and do some questions and answers, so we'll see how they react. It, I'm really, it's an interesting movie because I, I'm really waiting to see how the audience reacts to it because it's not, you know, like it says in the description, it's like American Pie meets American Psycho. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, I'm waiting to see how the audience does respond to it. See, that's what I like, and maybe you as a filmmaker feel the same way. When when someone leaves a theater just thinking about, wow, I can't believe the movie I just saw, and you sort of replay it in your mind, that to you was like a, a sign of a, of a successful piece, right? Yeah, it, 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 it's pretty much a sign. I mean, I, I tell stories to, you know, you want to evoke emotion and a response out of somebody, whether they love it or they hate it or they cry or they laugh or they scream or they get up and walk out of the theater. At least you have evoked, you know, invoked some kind of response from them, and that, that's what that's your whole goal as a storyteller, in my opinion. Absolutely. And where did you shoot uh, quite a conundrum, Tom? We shot um, the movie in Jacksonville, Florida. Okay, good, good, good uh, city for uh, for filming. Yes, yeah, beautiful city for filming. Beautiful scenery, um, great locations. Um, really hot weather as we filmed it right in July and August. So. The actors were all hot, except there's like two or three <laughs> nights that we spent in a swimming pool in the middle of the night, so I got a little cold sometimes. There you go. Do you think that sometimes the city where you shoot a film, sometimes the city itself takes on a character, and is that the case in this movie? Yes, I, I think it really does take on a character. Um, more so in my last film, this one, the city really doesn't take um, that much precedent because the, the cool thing about the movie is that it was all shot in one location. Mm hmm and it was all shot um, over, like, an eight-hour period, like, you know, through the night. And we actually filmed the movie in order from the opening scene to the ending scene, which is something that you normally don't do. But it was really cool to do that. It's kind of an experiment with the actors and watch them characters progress as the movie progressed. So it was like a play that we 
film in order. Interesting. Now, if I was an actor, I would think I would want all the scenes, you know, sort of shot in order, so this way I could kind of evolve as the story does. But you say that's typically not the case. A movie is oftentimes shot out of order, right? Yeah, 99.9% .9 of the time movies are shot out of order, mostly for cost reasons when you're doing locations and stuff. You want to film all the scenes in this one location at one time so there's not so many company moves and, you know, it's just easier and cheaper. But since we filmed all in one location, we were able to do that. And it is great for the actors, and the actors really respond to that, you know, getting to see the story develop that they know and that they've read, mm -hmm. but then they actually get to develop these characters as they go along. So it is a blessing for the actors. It's not, I mean, the only big Hollywood movie that I can think of that I know that was shot in sequence was Beautiful Mind by okay. Ron Howard. Oh, really? Oh, wow. Yeah, they they did that in order to help with Russell Crowe and his um, aging process in that movie. I see. Okay. I, I think if I was an actor in a film like that, I think I would just struggle with the continuity if I wasn't shooting in order. Is that one of the things you worry about, too? Oh, yeah. When you're, when you're filming and, you know, you're switching locations and you're doing scenes out of order, you're always worried about continuity, whether... Yeah. You know, the glass is half full or half empty. Is the cigarette, you know, is it lit or is it not lit? Where was that cut setting? But when you're when you're filming in order and there's not, and, and you're getting to watch it as it goes, you know exactly where the stuff is supposed to be at. So it's kind of, it was a cool experience for me. Excellent. And the actors. Good, good. Well, good luck with everything tomorrow. This is the first time it's being shown on the big screen, and we're so glad that you chose the New Jersey Film Festival to do so. It's going to be a big, uh, big time success for you. Good luck with everything tomorrow night, and we'll talk to you again soon, all right? Thanks a lot, Bert. Yeah, we screen Saturday night. Saturday night, right. Saturday night. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much, Thomas. I appreciate it. Thank All right. you. All right, good luck. Take care. All right, Thomas L. Phillips, uh, director of Quite a Conundrum. And again, that is the feature on Saturday, Saturday night, February 4th, for the New Jersey Film Festival. Voorhees Hall, number 105, uh, gets underway at 7 o'clock on Saturday. Uh, Bathing and the Single Girl. Is